Hi, I'm Dr. Barbara Mitra and this is for students on my TV Times module, particularly looking at superheroes and philosophical ideas relating them to superheroes. So just to say that a hero embodies a noble quality, maybe sometimes called an illustrious warrior, whereas a superhero might have extraordinary qualities, maybe being an extraordinary powerful person with weaknesses and strengths, but they have a noble character. They're nobly better, morally better than others. And it's suggested that superheroes are usually committed to what's right and good. In the Republic, Socrates gives an argument that people should seek to be good. And superheroes remind us that self-discipline and self-sacrifice are important in relation to that. Plato also suggests that what is good is attractive to people and that superheroes are role models for us. So we can think of lots of different superheroes that reflect that. Kierkegaard highlights the concept of double danger. He, he suggests that we're called upon to love our neighbour as ourselves and to do this we need to overcome our natural selfish desires. So the first danger is our inner selfish, selfish desires that we have to overcome. The second danger are the external ones, those around us that may respond negatively. And you can see that in, for example, relation to things like the X-Men, you also get the inner conflicts in things like Buffy as well. And in fact, most superheroes will have both a combination of internal and external conflicts. Utilitarianism is the idea of the greatest overall good for the most number of people and our superheroes face these choices. So for example, Superman facing the choice of representing his newspaper at a press conference or rescuing a plane with engine failure. So they have a duty to remain a superhero, but sometimes these become difficult to decide. So in The Devil's Advocate, the Joker finds himself on death row. He's innocent of that particular crime. So utilitarianism might still condemn the Joker to death, but Batman knows it would be unjust to let him die. So various dilemmas that they face in relation to philosophical concepts. And then we have Plato's cave, where it's suggested that people live their entire lives in a dark cave, and that's their entire reality, all they know leaving the cave they discover there's much more to reality and um, Plato's philosophers recognize a higher dimension to reality but so do our superheroes so Buffy or Q in Star Trek the Doctor in Doctor Who for example are aware of higher and lower dimensions of existence it's suggested as well by Plato that, that they have a duty to liberate others Buffy um, is the chosen one she's chosen to hunt vampires and she has this burden of duty and responsibility and destiny can suggest that we have a duty to do what our duty requires it's essential in relation to morality so the moral person does what they have to do because they do what duty requires of them and our superheroes often do this as well choosing duty over other things over selfish desires and that's all I'm going to say. Here are some references. Um, if you're at the University of Worcester, some of these books are ebooks available online. And I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for listening.